Instructions on how to use the Geneway Buckle or Cheek Swab DNA Collection Kit. What do you need? A permanent marker or pen, preferably black. A timing device, for example a watch or mobile phone. A clean envelope or small plastic bag that is approximately 20 centimeters in width. One Geneway buckle swab collection kit that contains one sterile buckle swab in a labeled tube, patient information, consent and test requisition form which has three carbon copy pages. First things first. Read, complete and sign the strictly confidential patient information consent and test requisition form. Note the informed consent and terms and conditions on the overleaf. Please write the following information clearly on the barcoded label on the tube. The initials or name and surname of the doctor or referring healthcare practitioner. The name and surname of the patient, the person from whom the sample is taken. The date of birth of the patient. The date the sample is taken. The gender of the patient. When should you take the sample? The best time to take the sample is first thing in the morning before brushing your teeth, smoking or consuming any food or beverages. The sample can, however, be taken at any time of the day provided two hours have passed after eating, drinking, smoking or chewing gum. How do you take the sample? Wash and dry your hands. Set your timing device to 60 seconds or longer. Remove the sterile swab from the tube by twisting the capped end. Do not touch the white swab with your fingers or place it against any surface. Activate the timing device and insert the swab into your mouth. Rotate the swab while rubbing firmly against the inside of each cheek for at least 30 seconds. A minimum of one minute of collection time is necessary to ensure that sufficient DNA containing cells are transferred to the swab. You can support the outside of the cheek with your hand to be able to rub and rotate the swab more firmly. Make sure that the white swab makes contact only with the inside of your cheeks. Do not brush the teeth or tongue. Place the swab back inside the tube and press the base of the swab firmly against the top end of the tube to ensure a secure seal. Place the sealed swab together with the original white copy of the patient information consent and test requisition form in a clean envelope or plastic bag and seal. The blue and yellow copies are for the doctor or healthcare practitioner and patient respectively. How do you store the swab after taking the sample? The swab can be stored at room temperature for 24 hours, protected from direct sunlight or excessive heat. If more than 24 hours are likely to pass before sending the swab to the laboratory, place the swab inside the freezer until ready for delivery. Where do you send the DNA sample? Return the following items to the doctor or referring healthcare professional. Envelope or plastic bag with the DNA sample and white form inside. The blue copy of the form. Remember the yellow copy is for the patient's record keeping.